It is 6.06. My flight started boarding at 6 o'clock. I just got the security. Oh, my makeup. Right. When you get on the plane, you must always wipe everything down with antiseptic wipes. You can wipe mine too while you wipe. You don't know what kind of germs are on these nasty planes. Look, they don't even clean. Look at this. They don't even clean this. It's so gross. And you have to see this? Look at this. Look at this. They don't clean anything. Before you close it, you have to wipe that down. Anything you touch, you must wipe down. You don't know who's blue cooties were here before you. This. Ugh. This. Ugh. The buttons. Don't forget the buttons. This. Ugh. You know Naomi Campbell wipes her seat down and then she puts a whole blanket over it too. She is <laughs> So, such a germaphobe. Ugh. Wait, this is dry. I need another one. <laughs> this is my handy everything bag. So, these are what we use. I need a new pack of these. Just enough for the plane trip back. <laughs> Wipe it down. Get this. This. They don't clean anything. Despicable. How do you think they turn the planes over so quickly? Because they don't clean anything. <laughs> they don't clean anything. Ugh. Gross. Don't forget the button. Because you'll probably put your seat back. No, I don't. There you go. Wait, this too. Look. Oh, no. In case you yeah, want to. Man. <laughs> So this hasn't been cleaned since they put this plane in service. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that's how you disinfect your plane seat. Have pleasure to welcome you to Detroit. Why look what time is 8.22. We have arrived in Detroit. I am tired. It is pretty empty here for nine o'clock. And it looks like we have a very long walk to go. around here to be is it a big city yeah I would say. maybe it's not a big city we're just so used to being in New York oh this is it Stop it. <laughs> we're I'm literally the right there the map said it was that, <laughs> what was that? Um, we thought we were going somewhere far but it's literally a block away Pretty uneventful. Say hi, Brett. Hey, yeah, the expo was like, you know. The best thing we got out of here was this. Oh! <laughs> I am so clumsy. I, Kimberly, this. I don't understand, you know. We do a lot of these races. And this. And they charge us so much for the fees to get in these races. Yes, they do. And there's no, I mean, there's no really no incentive to stay around at the expo. No. Because there's nothing to do here but walk. And I need to get off my feet. Yeah, we can buy all of this stuff outside on at our home. own time. Yeah. It's not like they're giving any discounts. Exactly. They give, well, the so girls did give point? us discounts on the um, couch. So what is the point of the expo? Um, Besides bid pickup. They want you to spend your money. <laughs> you could save money by mailing your bib to me. My bib to me. But then they're going to charge you oh, to you mail your bib. I think I have some wipers and I can wipe myself up a little bit. 
put on some clothes. You didn't hear that, Allison. I didn't. I don't have. I don't have he ran the 5K ran the and, five the and the one mile. mile and, um, Show your metal. I'm not fresh. But I do have some. Uh, I don't smell you, so you're I do good. have those. Uh, Pop one of those downy things in your pocket. No, no, I have <laughs> those wipies that they gave at the uh, at the race. The I time. use those wipe. I use them in the car at, at the race. Mm -hmm. I, I use I those. I gave you some the last time you was like, let me have one. I used it. Yeah. So I went it, in the car, wiped down, and changed. Okay, we are checking out. going to check out the Motown Museum literally right next door to a funeral home look Guess what? You can get the control room from this side. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the control room. Yes. I call this ruckus. Yeah. Can you take my picture? Who's that in the corner there? Um, Miss Gordy from the quality the control. control okay, time to do a little tourist touristy things <laughs> uh, we are headed to the aquarium it is on bell island in michigan not too far from downtown about three miles or so looks pretty tiny and the good part about it is free and the parking was free as well so let's see what it has to offer <laughs> that was a fast look at the aquarium. Now we're at the conservatory, I think it's called. Right next door. It's very pretty here. Wow. 
glasses. I put them right by my bag. I left my glasses. I'm bored. They're yelling for me to go. All right, we're heading to the start. We'll see you there. You know what? In about footsteps. So keep that in mind. Welcome, everybody. to run 13.1 again. This is like the third weekend of the row. over the bridge because the ramp is crazy. <laughs> I ran up half of it. I'm just gonna take it easy so that I don't have calf pains again. There's border patrol everywhere making sure people have their bibs to go to Canada. All right back to the race. bathroom since mile three <laughs> this mile eight I feel like I'm about to bust every time there are bathrooms the line is like six people long so the next one I see I'm just gonna have to wait because I don't think I can make it another five miles with drinking at every aid station hopefully get out of this tunnel <laughs> find a bathroom. Wish me luck. I need it. There's the finish. Whew. That was not easy. Time to get a medal. Stop to use the bathroom. <laughs> so that is my mission right now. Detroit. Hi. 